Later, he boasted to the others. Driver says I don't need him now. Don't be so daft, snorted Percy. I'd never go without my driver, said Toby earnestly. I'd be frightened. Puh, boasted Thomas. I'm not scared. You'd never dare. I would then. You'll see. The next morning, the firelighter came. Thomas drowsed comfortably as the warmth spread through his boiler. Percy and Toby were still asleep. Thomas suddenly remembered. Silly stick in the muds, he chuckled. I'll show them. Driver said I could manage without him. I'll just go out and then I'll stop and wheesh. That'll make them jump. Thomas thought he was being clever, but really he was only moving because a careless cleaner had meddled with his controls. He soon found his mistake. He tried to weave, but he couldn't. He tried to stop, but he couldn't. He just kept rolling along. He didn't dare look at what was coming next. There was the station master's house. The station master was about to have breakfast. Horrors, cried Thomas, and shut his eye. Broken glass tinkled, plaster was everywhere. Thomas had collected a bush on his travel. He peered into the room through its leaves. He couldn't speak. 